Why, hello. And welcome back. Right now, Jihuram is going into this uh, fortress, which had a bunch of like necromancers and weird people around the front. So he was like, okay. Even though my family's probably not in there because these guys aren't bandits. Do you know what? Still need to help because these guys probably kill other people's families too. my fist in the or two freak fireballs. Whatever floats your boat. Where'd my skelly go? <laughs> Aha! Secret skeleton behind you. Where are you? Uh behind you? With a skeleton right here. Oh, look at that. I killed him. Punch you in your face thing. Oh, hi, Skelly. Thank you so much for letting me train on you. Cool. These guys have okay stuff. Not the best, but... Now let's walk through the door of uncertainty. And I was sort of certain. I sort of certainly knew it was going to open. Ooh. Fireball to the face. Don't shoot the skeleton man. I'm gonna punch you to death. Punch, punch, punch! Oh, I think I gave her a bloody nose. <gasps> now I'm back. That means that Chihuram can now do potiony things. So cool. Yeah, but he doesn't like people like this. Ooh, a rat. To punch in the face. One punch. That's cool. Adding strength, like, to his leveling really, really helped him. I'm just gonna punch you in the face. A lot. Bloody nose punch! Wow. Yeah. I'm just getting a bunch of, like, clothes that, like, have magical enchantments. And they're not that great. Ooh, he likes books. He likes books a lot. One day when he owns a house, he's gonna be like, book, book, book. Look at that. Like a G orc. Like a like a G orc. Yeah. That that didn't make much sense. Ex what? Okay. So that thing only shoots you when you jump into it? That doesn't make any sense. That's like the most horrible creation of something I've ever seen before. You had one job! One job! And you put it up there. Fireball to the back, and punch you in your face thing. Wow. Fireball. Fireball. Not another one. Search your body meticulously. Because, come on, like, this is a learned orc. He knows to search their bodies very, very quickly while in the midst of battle. Okay, lady, you're just getting annoying. And when you get annoying, I fireball you in the face. There we go. Ooh, I can make more flesh and stuff. What are they sacrificing down here? Like, what are they even doing? They're just sacrificing stuff? Because they can summon stuff with magic. So why do they sacrifice stuff? I don't understand that. Because they have conjuration. Jihuram is now puzzling about the existence of, of, uh, of uh, necromancers. He's puzzling hard. <laughs> like, like his fists are fists of fury. Even though they're little, little hands. They are little hands, but they're quick. Super quick. Super bad. I've never seen that movie, Super Bad. Ever? Whoa. He's, he's just going to take wild swings with his pets. Wild swings! And he does it. He doesn't know how. Ooh. Even though he doesn't usually do that. But for the big ones, he's like, um, yeah, I don't know how to do that. 
It's not like there's someone controlling him that they don't know how to pick locks that are too advanced or anything. Come on, he's awesome. Ew. Wait, so for me to close that, that's hard. It's harder to close that than to open something with a bunch of treasure? I'm sorry, but like, with, like between that and the traps in here, like, the people here are like not smart at all. Like, they're pretty stupid. They don't know how to build a proper dungeon. Hey, I'm here to build your dungeon for you! I'm here to fix it! Oh, apparently he didn't want me to fix it. Now that's just what I call rude. Like, I'm offering help. Mr. Skeleton Man. So sad. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Who's behind you punching you in the face? I am, I am. So many potions from this place. I guess that's like the positive thing about going. And. See, that one's not totally broken. See, those are fine. Apparently, these guys were hurt by it too. So sad. So sad. Too bad for them, even though they know about the traps, so you would think that they would like avoid them? I don't know. Maybe it's just like, oh no, there's an intruder! All the stupid! All the stupid! That guy's quick. And he's fireballing. Ooh, look at that. I'm sidestepping more than you. That's how... Wait a second. So this is like Dancing with the Stars. Only I'm dancing with daft necromancers who can't build caves right. Hmm. I guess it's fun. I should make national TV for this. And then I decide to rest in a super dangerous place for an hour. I just sit on the ground. I'm like, hey, come at me, bro. Sif. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's how I am. More sacrificing. Like this just gets Jihuram like up in a fit. He's just like, I'll slash your chest, and not with my fists, but with my pick locks. And that gave me barely any time for all the stuff I had to use. Attack him, Mr. Skeleton Man. Unless he summons a ghost that you can't. Fit. Good. That's all good. I punch him, he just like jumps over to the side in like the last minute. He's like, Mer America is over there. Yeah. Ow! Stop hitting me, punching bag. Okay. He's so inconsiderate. So I guess this is the upstairs? Or something? Whoa. Well, apparently there wasn't really anything over there. Jihuram is sort of sullen after taking that many lives. You know, I mean, usually it's like a bandit or two, some people being racist towards him, but this time, guys, this time, he's just like, that was an entire clan of necromancers. That much evil. That much life. Wasted. You see, he's more human than a lot of other human-like people are human. Because that's just who Jihuram is. He senses a mine is somewhere. Oh, he hits us with his fist. He now feels beast for some reason. Not like beast from the X-Men, even though that beast is awesome. And that beast is awesome at science. Ooh, I need to be awesome at science. 
a mortar pestle. Pfft. I guess I can't make potions yet. Jihiram sighs, as for some reason his bottle does not work because he doesn't have something else. He senses something is awry. Ooh, that was close. Punch you in the face, then. How many wolf pelts does he have? It's ni 19 long. Ouch! So inconsiderate. So. Oh, waiting through the grasses. It reminds him of his childhood. Of waiting through grasses while seeing his other brothers and sisters play as he watched them closely to make sure that no one stole them away in the night. But now. Ouch! But now. All we can do is wait to watch over them and the rest of his family once more. At one point it used to annoy him. He would gripe about it and his parents said, One day, one day you will be thankful for everything you have. And now he knows that. Oh, he knows that well. He knows that too well. Yeah, so he likes harvesting plants that calms him, just walking like this, but faster. Or else then he wouldn't get anywhere. He would still be like in that one town he used to be in. But, but he just can't wait for the day in which orcs have equal rights with everyone else. Of course, that's a fight for another day. First he has to find his family. The Gold Coast. He knows this based off of its name that he once heard, the Gold Coast. He hopes that he can make it to a town. He's heard Anvil is quite nice. Oh, and he spots some, some, some type of stables or something. An inn, hopefully. Oh, he's quite happy now. But he wished that there was a horse to buy, because then he would buy it. Ooh, and some flowers to pick. He loves picking flowers. Oh, how he does love picking flowers. As I said before, it calms him. And he cannot wait to rest. Ooh, a torch. But he better not take it. He doesn't feel right taking things that aren't his. Ooh, a nice place. Unlike the other place. Hello! Trouble? Trouble? Truth is. Truth is. The Legion doesn't know- What? He's been murdered? Farewell, citizen. What do you want? What do you want? A bed. Aye. Aye. I'll take it. Look at that. Right there. It's cheaper and this place A is little so food better. and drink will do you some Ooh. good. Some good wine will do him some good. <laughs> Not 35. Ooh, some ham. An excellent thank you. That'll do, that'll do him some good. Let's see if we can't. Mercantile? Hmm. Farewell. No, I don't feel like that right now. Hmm, this is a nice place. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for us. Good to hear. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? They say. Oh, and he's gonna rest for a bit. Well, hopefully longer than that, but. And some more endurance. Oh, yes. Even though he needs to actually sleep for longer. Like, for at least eight hours, you know. He can wake up in the morn and feel fully rested. What? Um... Okay. Cool.
cool. That's weird, he just leveled up a bunch. And he still needs to wake up at like 6. There he goes. He likes this place, it's nice and quiet, no one's trying to kill him. And he's hungry. He'll, uh, he'll eat a ham out in the hallway. Now, of course he doesn't know that it's not nice to just start eating stuff in the middle of the hallway, but... Oh, look at that. He has an apple. He has a ham. And what the heck? He has some more flesh. He feels a bit woozy after it. His vision blurring a bit, but... He nods goodbye to the nice innkeeper yes? and to the Imperial Legion soldier who's keeping watch over this place. <gasps> Is that free food? No, it's not free food. Makes him a little bit grumpy, as the other place did have free food. Or some other place had free food. But he's okay. He can't wait until he gets to a town where he can hopefully settle down. And use that as a base to find his family. But you know what? I'm quite proud of Jihuram. He's come a long way. Quite a long way. Stay away from my wolf! You skeleton, where'd you come from anyway? Whoa. How high is his hand to hand? 40? Wow. You see, I didn't know he was that good in that. Like, I knew he was, like, good, but... Ooh, a town. I don't know what he, I don't know which way this stuff is pointing him. He'll just go towards this city over here. Better tools fully. Ooh, what is this place? What is this place? Come on! Come on! God's blood! Deidre overran Kvachla! There! Go! It's what in the world's going on here? What are you. This is crazy. Huh? Enough talk. How could the nine. Have you seen my happen? family? Are they angry? I don't have much. I, I have lost as well, everything. Madam. I have as well. I'm pretty handy. I'm pretty handy. What need. <gasps> She's a weaponsmith. Well, have a look around. You won't find better prices. If so? I admire you for going as you have. Thank you. Thank you. I'll joke with her a bit. I like that. I like that. A lot. You're a big fat. That's just. I don't think so. So sad. Go bother so sad. someone else. Who are you? Paleskin. That's what he's gonna start calling everyone like that. Paleskin. But he believes he knows the way to Anvil. So thus he will go there. But that is distressing about that city. And he hopes, GRM hopes, that a hero will rise up and save it one day. If not very, very quickly. Or he finds it very, very distressing when things like that happen, but he can't help. He has to help his family first. Family always comes first. Or at least it should. It should. He just loves all of this, you know, just exploring and finding more pulps. Yeah, he really loves his pulps. Pulps are like one of his most favorite things. Whoa, this is a lot of stuff. 
That's a nice boulder. That one, right there. Now he's just sort of lost. And I mean, not actually lost, but he's just lost in his own world of collecting plants. It's a nice world to be lost in. They can't really hurt you unless you ingest them and they turn out to be poisonous, but he usually doesn't ingest them. Well, sometimes. Mm, it all depends on the day. What is this? I cannot go that way. So strange. Apparently it's some sort of massive mountains. If only he had a map. It's such a strange place. With magical boundaries. Many people must not venture out of here. Ooh, he can feel its magic out here. It just sped him up a bit. So many deer. Oh. Look at this. It's some sort of relic. What? Face me, fiend. Oh, you died in the hit. Well, no matter. Well, I can tell you one thing. He will find a city if it's the last thing he does. Hopefully Anvil, because he was once there when he was a young child and he loved it there. He was there with his family. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he was there with his family. Ooh, a tent. A camp tent place. Maybe they have food. <laughs> Gee, her am's always hungry. Nom nom noms. And hopefully these people won't be racist and hate me just because I'm an orc. Okay, because I was born this way. That one orc lady was like all twisted by hatred. Hey, what do you even want? Do you even lift a hammer? Well, apparently you do. Do your work. Take that. You very, very mean person. Pfft. Wow. Oh, yum. All the yums. Ooh, some beer. Jihuram likes beer. He likes beer a lot. Where'd my skeleton go? I mean, where did Jihuram skeleton go? Jumping! Ow, oh, my legs! Whoa! My legs! Wait, there's still a camp over here? I thought that was the camp. I sense another camp. Another camp! Yeah, apparently. Another place for people to hate me because of the color of my skin. Green. So many peony seeds. Or pony seeds. I guess that's what you grow um, my little ponies with. Pony seeds. But I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Ooh. Meeting caps? Haven't seen these before. Ooh, what is this place? I sense something is wrong. Excuse me, what's going on? Oh. It's one of you people. Wait a second, were you following me? Like, were you part of the other camp? down with my strength, yeah. Oh yeah, that's called food. Leaks! Oh yes. I'm going to eat some corn. 
I go eat some leeks and lettuce. And a potato. All the potatoes. Ooh, there's a chest here. Almost missed it. Very cool. Yes, very cool. And all the uh, 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 alcohol. Yeah. Apparently there's a lot of alcohol back here. He loves alcohol. Don't you know? Oh, and he continues on. He continues on. He just can't wait to get a mortar and pestle, though, so he can actually start making stuff. He starts to feel all the plants and stuff that he's been collecting start to weigh him down a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. And, and not a whole lot, just just a bit. By a bit, I don't mean almost. Or, or an inch. Like, I mean, like, a good quarter. Okay? Like, please don't get those confused. What in the world? There's a dude over there. Ooh. Stop drinking my alcohol! You see, that guy must love to drink alcohol. Ooh, he's stronger now. Somebody that I used to know. Ouch. It's an imp gall. How could you have the gall to do that? Haha. <laughs> Punny. Yeah, see, that's the type of puns that, puns that Jihiran comes up with. Well, adieu for now. See you later.